Hey guys, I'm Jay, and I've got um, a stall here I've got to rebuild a little different than what I normally do, but this is made out of scrap lumber. It was made to be a temporary stall, and we're going to replace it with a permanent stall out of scrap lumber, so stay tuned. So we took in a little um, pony, uh, actually rescued it rather, and we weren't sure if it was going to make it, so I didn't want to put in anything permanent since we didn't really have room for a, another, <laughs> another animal. So that resulted in this thing made out of pallets. She's foundered up pretty bad, so. All right, I got it all demoed out. Let's take a look at the spot of face here. Pony's been using it, but. Pony's been using it a little bit, as you can tell from those muffins in there. I'm not too worried about it um, being square because it's just holding a pony. As long as it holds in the pony and does its job, that's good. So I'm not going to really measure it out. I'm going to go by eye. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a post form. I'm going to put some posts in the ground. I got some extra fence posts. I think I got a couple four befores out there. Less of it from another job. So let's get to digging. Selecting posts out of your scrap lumber, I don't suggest you getting this little tiny softwood stuff that's all twisted up. A little bit of worthless information there because we all know this. Let's go grab some posts. Here's the posts that I select. Here's an old post I pulled out of the ground and it was randomly in my yard. I have a four before treated that I got you left over from a, another project. And then a fence post that was left here from the previous owners. So I don't have anything sitting on top of these posts, so I'm not too worried about them sinking down into the ground from weight. It's more like a fence post from going side to side. So I'm just going to put some uh, dirt around them and compact the dirt with a spud bar. Starting at the bottom, the middle, then the top, because you can't go any other way. Make sure you got a level. Plum, rather. Up, all the way up the whole process. You should have a good solid post. <clears throat> Go do the rest of them now. Look at that, we got a visitor. She likes her stall already. Not even done. Got some leftover fence panels, some leftover screws. Just thread those right here. You get out of this one, little pony. Hope you got out. Alright, 
got stuff hanging out you don't want, just get out your saw, cut her off. I don't think pallets are bad for the sidewall, so I think I'm just going to put them back up. Made that a little too high. Maybe I should have measured it a little better, or measured it at all. Cutting pallets the size of the pain in the butt. Check this out. Sure you saw that, my battery saw is too small to go through both sides, so I was forced to break that off. Putting up the last piece over here. Believe it or not, I, uh, actually have some leftover strap hinges and a gate latch that I can use for a door on this. I did not do one ounce of shopping for this. We're building this on the whim. This pony just keeps knocking down my temporary, keeps knocking down our temporary pen. So I really just had to get this done. So let's get these strap hinges on. All right, got the gate on and put on the latch. As you can see, the opening's a little too wide for the uh, the pallet that I made, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna put this uh, one by twelve there to fill the gap. Well, here's my haphazardly thrown together stall made out of scrap wood and pallets and such. Had to be made in less than an hour. She just kept getting out. Even got a latch. And I'm sure Miracle likes it. It's already in there. I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.